are over the moon, literally. We've moved another inch closer. India's most ambitious moon mission, the Chandrayaan-2, has successfully maneuvered into the lunar orbit today. We're hoping to touch down on the surface of the moon on September 7th. The Indian Space Research Organization has achieved this milestone with the lunar orbit insertion. There will be four more maneuvers before the spacecraft enters its final orbit and Chandrayaan-2 will make a soft landing. Uh, to talk about this momentous occasion, uh, you know, the, the power behind the mission, uh, we're joined today by K. Sivan, a chairperson of ISRO. Uh, Mr. Sivan, thank you so much for taking out the time and speaking to us on the India development debate and many congratulations on this very tricky maneuver that has been achieved today by Chandrayaan-2. Thank you, madam. Thank you for the congratulations. Okay, let me start by asking you to explain what exactly has been achieved today so that all of our viewers can understand. And I've seen this described in a lot of places as a touch and go situation, a very tricky, challenging maneuver. Why is it so? Today, uh, uh, basically, we, we, we have achieved a very precise lunar orbit insertion maneuver. What really happened was after uh, 14th, uh, uh, the maneuver, that is a translunar injection, what really happened was that it, uh, our, uh, the satellite was uh, uh, injected with a velocity of 10.9 uh, kilometer per second which really gone to the distance of something like about 4 lakhs 18,000 kilometer distance, which is 7,000 kilometer more than moon's orbit. Now slowly moon came here, and when the, the Chandrayaan-2 returned from the apogee, moon arrived at that place, and yesterday around 3 p.m., the Chandrayaan-2 was under the gravity of moon, under the influence of moon. That means we used to call sphere of influence. And then slowly the Chandrayaan velocity was increasing. And if we are not putting any maneuver, the Chandrayaan velocity will increase further and it will escape from Earth orbit. So today what we did was we have made a precise lunar orbit insertion maneuver. By that process, the velocity of the, the craft was reduced from 2.4 km per second to 2.1 km per second. By this process, the, 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 the craft was yeah. going round the moon with a perilune of 114 km and Apollo of 18,000 km with inclination of 88 degree. The, 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 the mission or the, the insertion maneuver was so precise we got that uh, orbit as we expected. It's such a wonderful event, and we are extremely happy that we achieved whatever we want. So, uh, Mr. Sivan, uh, I understand that um, other nations have also attempted this. We want to be the fourth one to land on the moon. And even this attempt that we've made successfully today has a 52% strike rate. That means um, the odds uh, are not very high that you'll be successful. Um, uh, is that correct? And is this testimony to the kind of preparation that we've managed to make with this uh, mission? Yes, this particular mission, our uh, mission, whatever we are uh, the, uh, done today, is uh, unique in the sense. Uh, uh, compared to all other missions, uh, the lunar missions, we, our mission have a unique requirement of landing at a specified land site near South Pole. Now, to go to that uh, uh, the near South Pole means our orbit has to be at 90 degree inclination. This is a specific requirement for the Chandrayaan-2 when compared to other missions. And uh, for this one only, that is, we really, not only that uh, the lunar orbit insertion maneuver, and the, this one along with the translunar injection was done precisely in the right direction so that we achieved the required condition with the inclination of 88 degree. So with this process, that is maybe remaining uh, the days, that the orbital inclination will uh, increase further to 90 degree, so that yeah. at a landing day, 
we really will achieve the, the required inclination of 90 degree. This is what we are uh, very complex maneuver, very the high demanding maneuver, but we could achieve the whole thing in a very simple, very elegant way with our precise uh, maneuvers. And, and can you explain to us, Mr. Sivan, in uh, as simple terms as possible, that why our mission is focusing on the south pole of the moon? What is uh, the importance of this? The south pole is the place where that uh, uh, what we are expecting is that is uh, more science can be there in south pole. There are many reasons for uh, which we are going to South Pole. One is that is the place of that uh, the landscape will be more planar in the South Pole. That is one thing. That's why that will be more favorable for landing. Another one is we are, uh, you know, we are depending only on the sun. And uh, the South Pole is the place where we can get maximum duration of the sun illumination so that uh, we can make use of the maximum, the solar power for our purpose. That is the one. Third one is like uh, it is for the, the radio visibility point of view also the South Pole is uh, good. And the fourth and most important one is the science. And the, the South Pole is a place where it is, uh, it is slightly more shadower than the North Pole. So it is expected, the scientists globally expected that more science can be discovered from the southern part of the moon. That's what the, the whole attention nowadays of the, the, the scientists across the country, the globe, is going towards the south pole of the moon. That way, we can be proud that we are the first person to reach the south pole So before anybody goes. So I'm expecting a lot of new, once we are landing at that place, we may expect or we, we can expect a lot of new science will be discovered. That's what expectations. So that way we are aiming for the South Pole. Absolutely. It's really exciting. Um, you know, the other reason why uh, India's moon mission is known all over the world uh, and Chandrayaan 2 as well, uh, because it's cost us about a thousand crore rupees. Uh, that's how much uh, Hollywood spends on some movies made on space missions. Uh, do you think that uh, it's a, a testimony to our prowess that we've managed this uh, in a smaller budget? Uh, do you think it's something to be proud of? No, this uh, uh, definitely we can be proud that we are uh, able to do this uh, very complex and challenging mission with a very the small budget. We can be proud. Yes, with less money, we are uh, bringing maximum science. So definitely we can be proud and uh, we can be, all the Indian can be proud that we achieved some new science. This is not only ISRO, that the Indians are also contributing in, in their own way. Yeah. So I would say that the success, whatever we have today, it is not only ISRO success, it is the Indian success. So it is Indian mission. Absolutely. India has gone to the moon. India has achieved the, 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 uh, the Chandrayaan to around the moon. I would say like this, not ISRO. No, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, there was, I just want to talk a bit about uh, the launch uh, which finally took place on the 22nd of July uh, and after a delay. Uh, what happened in the first attempt, uh, uh, Mr. Sivan? What can you share with us really about uh, what happened in the first attempt uh, where we had to postpone the launch by a few days? See, this, uh, we initially planned to launch the Santra and 2 mission on the July 15, the early morning. And what happened was that is uh, there are uh, the, uh, the gas store, uh, the storage were there in the cryogenic stage. And uh, we used to use that, uh, the, the gas storages for operating that uh, valves and uh, the, 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 the regulators. So the, what happened was this gas storage, what we had in one of the gas storages, it got leaked. So the, the, the required, uh, the pressure was not maintained. When the required pressure was not maintained, what happened is that the, the system, whatever making use of this particular uh, gas storage may not be functioning. So that way, we thought that it is, it is, uh, it is, it is worthwhile to not to go ahead because uh, it is more riskier to go ahead with the, with, go ahead with the launch than, than, than we are calling off the launch. So that's what we called off the launch and we corrected the, the technical uh, anomaly. And with the character version, with the, we, uh, we could get a, a grand success on 22nd. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Last question, Mr. Sivan. Now, all eyes are on September 7th. Uh, what are we hoping to happen and how significant uh, will be this soft landing on the moon, which I'm sure we'll achieve successfully on September 7th? Explain to us the importance of this. Definitely, that is now the, from here onward, from today onwards, that is, uh, we have a lot of works to do. First of all, uh, we have to uh, the bring down that orbit from yeah. that uh, 18,000 kilometer to 100 kilometer. That was the first uh, task. That we are going to do in ne next four uh, the maneuvers. It will be spanning up to the first September. Then, subsequent to that one, that is, uh, our, uh, the, the lander will be separated from that orbiter and lander will be on, on its own from that uh, time onwards. That is 2nd September, the separation is going to happen. And the third, we are going to have a, a small uh, firing of the, the lantern to ensure that everything is all right. After confirming the performance of the propulsion system is okay, then we will be going for real de-boost maneuver on the so fourth, which will uh, put the satellite in a place where uh, 100 kilometer peri uh, uh, the upper loon and uh, 35 kilometer uh, peri loon. And uh, the 35 kilometer is the place from where that is our, the, the real, the, the, the power descent will start. And once it is the, 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 the power descent start at 35 kilometer, the velocity of the, the spacecraft will be something like 1.6 kilometer per second. It should be brought to zero in a controlled way. This is done by the, the, the thrusters kept in that vehicle yeah. and also with the aiding of the, 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 the sensor and the navigation guidance and control algorithm, everything will work in tandem. Right. So that the, the, the controlled way, the system is the, the, the brought down and land safely and on a designated location on the moon. Absolutely, and when we do so, uh, we will be uh, the fourth nation to uh, do the soft landing uh, on the moon. Thank you so much, Mr. Sivan, for speaking uh, with us today on uh, this huge occasion. India is over the moon, and we are looking forward to more successes from Chandrayaan 2. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much, madam. Uh, that's all the time we have on the India development debate this evening. Uh, thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you back here tomorrow.